in white, Kazakhstan in blue. The Serbians attacking the goal to the left-hand side of your picture. And rather inevitably, it's Vukasevic who tries his luck. He's got a fearsome shot. He's not the most acrobatic of players. The man on the ball here, Kubrilovic, is far more agile. But uh, Vukasevic is a wily old character. And he might uh, just put it in here, not quite bounced up kindly for uh, the Serbians, but couldn't stretch enough. They have won the game's first corner, though. Bypasses Vukisevic. It'll be uh, cleared upfield by Tjulpa, who got the tournament's first goal on Friday. And it was uh, a defeat by Moldova. First save from Pantelic from the effort by Vasiliev, who... Uh, Perhaps surprisingly hasn't scored yet. He's had plenty of chances. <coughs> Needs to put one away. Piotrowski takes the throw. Watch out for him. He's got a sledgehammer left foot, the big number two for Kazakhstan. Here's Vukasevic. Blocked in the path by Makagon. One of the uh, scorers against Estonia yesterday when uh, Kazakhstan were well beaten by seven goals to two. Estonia look a class apart at this level. Early save for Pantelic from his opposite number, Raul Antataev. The reason uh, Victor Chorny is suspended for three matches is because he uh, used insulting language or gestures towards an official. So he'll sit out this one as the second of three and will also miss their next international fixture in the Euro Beach Soccer League, which will move to San Shencho in Galicia in northern Spain in a week's time and then will be in Siofok in Hungary before the final to determine the big prizes in Catania, Sicily in August. Free kick to Kazakhstan. It's hit hard and low by uh, Makagon. Keep it close down quickly by Vukasevic, and he's put uh, Kazakhstan under a bit of pressure here. Mihailovic scrapes it away. Kubrilovic to Vukasevic. Good ball spread wide to uh, Mladen Jovanovic. And Kubrilovic couldn't quite contact at the far post. It was a good move by the Serbians. Almost brought about the first goal. <coughs> It'd be a huge uh, moment for Serbia if they could win their first ever match at this level. Kubrilovic tangling with Makagon. Here's Vukasevic onto that left foot. The angle is difficult. Still has it. Needs support here. Try to do it all himself. Oh, and he has! An extraordinary goal by Nemanja Vukasevic. It didn't look anything on at all. It looked as if the moment had passed. And yet, with a swivel and a accurate shot, He's found the net, and it's 1-0 to Serbia. Tremendous effort. Goalkeeper was stranded, and the man on the line couldn't get back. Terrific goal. It's his uh, fourth now of the tournament, having scored a hat-trick against Moldova. The two leading scorers are both Swiss, Dejan Stankovic and Glenn Odell with five apiece, but Vukasevic is now... Only one behind them. The goalkeeper has not prevented that from crossing the line. It'll be a corner kick. Well, Kazakhstan have had a pretty sorry tournament. <laughs> Nearly beat Moldova, but then put to the sword by Estonia, as were the Serbians. That's a very poor corner by their captain, Kudai Dejinov. At the moment, Serbia have the wind in their sails. Kubrilovic, good effort. It's actually gone away for a throw in. Fonny was hit uh, purposefully by Dimitri Pereviotov, another player who's uh, not yet scored for um, Kazakhstan. Only three players have Chernyshov three times, Makagon and Tiolpa. 
The others are yet to open their accounts. They're yet to open their account in this one with four minutes played in the first period. Chance here, perhaps. Good strike by uh, Radionov on the volley, but uh, Petkovic makes a... Uh, Pantelic, I should say, makes a fairly straightforward save. Here's Vukishevic. Long shot came in from uh, Nikola Valentic, the 32-year-old midfield player. Vukishevic has now scored seven goals in uh, six international matches for Serbia. Here's Antic, he's a lively little character. He's the uh, youngster in the Serbian team from an outfield player point of view at 21. Goalkeeper Marko Milivojevic, who we'll see later, I'm sure, is only 18. Low strike is... Uh, Defended initially, and then the overhead kick from Berevyotov, who's one of five players in the Kazakhstan squad who play for the Arman club. The rest all play for Ushkin Iskra. Free kick to Kazakhstan. It's just inside their own half, but... Um, Viktor Radionov, who's 35 years old, will uh, attempt to get his side back on terms. Well hit by Radionov. Pantelic got down low to his left to scramble the ball to safety. It's a foul by uh, Valentich. And another free kick opportunity for Kazakhstan. Again, from distance even further this time. Once more, it's going to be Viktor Radionov to take it. Just needs to get the sand out of his eyes first. Is Radionov with a big wind up. Good strike. Goalkeeper just about clings on at the second attempt under pressure from Vasiliev. And Serbia still lead by their single goal as uh, one of the two. Jovanovic is Mladen, number nine. Puts the ball over the crossbar. Mihailo Jovanovic scored his first international goal for Serbia against Moldova yesterday. It's another stoppage for. Uh, Rough and tumble going on out in the centre. It's going to be a drop ball in the centre. Winners of this game will finish third in Division. B Group 1, where Estonia will be favourites to finish top against Moldova in the following game. Whistle is blown again for a free kick. This time I think it's gone the way of the Serbians, so it's an opportunity for them. Just uh, behind halfway, Filip Antic, the 21-year-old defender who hasn't yet scored an international goal, will line it up. That'll be the first uh, test from a free kick for... Rowan 
Antataev, the Kazakh goalkeeper. It's Antic. It's a decent effort, palmed away. Defended well by uh, Mihailovic, not once but twice. But well, he's an old fashioned centre half, I'm sure, when he plays 11 aside. Uh, Nikola Mihailovic is a tough, uncompromising character. Scored a good goal yesterday against Moldova. It was a deserved one, too, for him for all his efforts, not just here, but in Belgrade last week as well. Couldn't win a match on home soil. Can they away from home here? Mihailovic goes for goal. Doesn't trouble Atantaev. Long throw by uh, Kwiatowski comes to nothing. Here he is again in action, the number two. Player I mentioned, he has a extraordinarily potent left foot. He hasn't yet scored a goal in this contest, but he's uh, come close on a number of occasions. Didn't quite work for him yesterday against Estonia when Kazakhstan were very much second best. They're second best at the moment here, trailing to a Nemanja Vukisevic goal. back to his captain. Mihailovic struck him fine. Vukashevic! Oh, he set it up beautifully. And uh, Mladen Jovanovic could only hit the bar. Very, very close to a second Serbian goal. Interesting that Vukashevic went for the header rather than the volley. The acrobatics are not his speciality, but it was a clever header. And uh, it almost led to a goal. It was... Mladen Jovanovic will see it here. Good ball by Mihailovic. Clever header cross field. And really, I suppose he should have scored from that kind of distance in that kind of space. He put it up onto the crossbar. And his wait for a first international goes on. And uh, Serbia's lead remains at 1 0. Header was just over the bar by Diolpa from the long drive forward by Kwiatowski. Still no way through for Kazakhstan. Intercepted by Kubrilovic, but uh, not for very long. Makadon has it. Throw by the keeper, easy header for uh, Jovanovic. by Tulpa, who wants to shoot, didn't really get hold of it. Came off his toe rather than the main part of his foot. Again, Serbia are pretty untroubled by uh, Kazakhstan at the moment. Here's Vukesevic, back to Jovanovic. That's a lovely turn by him. The follow-up shot didn't match it. Good play, though, by Jovanovic to set himself up. Fiatowski again trying to crunch one in with that left foot, but... Off target once more. Here's Vukashevich. He's a very neat player. Chance maybe for him here. He's good across the sand, but he's tackled by uh, Dimitri Pereviotov, who then fires wide. Here's uh, Valentic. For Kishevich, good volley. Didn't quite break for Kubrilovic. Well, they've had a couple of occasions, uh, Serbia, to increase their lead. Here's Vukashevic again. Trying to get the better of his man. Finds uh, Mihailovic. Back it 
comes. Been a good first period, this for the Serbians. Kabrilovic trying to make it a bit better with the overhead kick, but uh, can't get anything on it. Here's uh, Chernyshov for Kazakhstan, who's been their main provider of goals. And Kwiatkowski trying to get his first of the tournament, but it went the wrong side of the post. the earlier volley by uh, Vukashevich at the other end, which the keeper kept out. Here's Vukashevich again. Can't find a way through this time. But again, Serbia are defending well as a team. This is Antic. That's a foul, and that's a good opportunity for uh, Serbia maybe to get the second goal they want just before the end of the opening period the clock's been stopped at just over a minute there was the foul on and teach and uh, well this is uh, an opportunity perhaps it was uh, a foul which will warrant a shot at goal from the center rather than from where the offense took place Bukishevich has the uh, ball under his arm and can certainly hit them. He's played Bundesliga 11 aside football for uh, 1860 Munich in Cologne. He's also played in Moscow for Lokomotiv, one of the local clubs. Can he get his second? Yes, he can. Drills it down the middle. Nemanja Vukashevic not only puts uh, Serbia 2-0 up, but puts himself alongside the two Swiss players, Stankovic and Odell, at top of the uh, goal-scoring charts. He's got five now. Seven in six internationals for Nemanja Vukashevic. And Kazakhstan, you could say, deservedly go further behind because Serbia have been the better team. And Vukashevic's magic has uh, brought goals again. That was a decent hit by uh, Chernyshov. Here's Antic trying to get on the end of the long ball. It's headed away out of danger by Radionov. <coughs> Throw-in will be taken by Mihailo Jahanovic. And uh, the flying effort by Kubrilovic is blocked before Antic commits a foul. Kick will be taken by Dimitri Perovyortov. The uh, Kazakhstan players need something before the <coughs> end of the first period to get themselves back into the game, trailing by two goals to nil. <coughs> Perovyortov then sets his sights. Awkward for the keeper, but he got enough behind it. Might just be time for another effort on goal by the Kazakhstan players. That one goes wide, but it's kept alive on this near side by uh, Perovyotov. Flipped over by Pantelic. Neat little chip goalwards. Goalkeeper had to make sure. Here's the corner, but again, it's overhit from that far side. Chernyshov back to his goalkeeper. Big throw, but not controlled properly. Here's Kubrilovic for Serbia. He will go into the second period, leading by two goals to nil. Both of them scored by their main man, Nemanja Vukashevic. The first, a really clever effort. International beach soccer win, leading by two goals to nil. Uh, it'll be Kazakhstan to get us underway for the second period. They haven't been very impressive in the first, it has to be said, and Vyatovsky's uh, frustration just goes on and on. Produced uh, those kind of shots all day yesterday, and it's continued into day three. 
Cheers for Kushevich. You got both of the goals in the first period, but um, unable to force the issue there. He almost set up a goal for uh, Mladen Jovanovic as well. Here's Kubrilovic. Might get on the end of this. Didn't quite work for him. Kubrilovic shoots. And in it goes. It's 3-0 to Serbia. And Nikola Kubrilovic has got his second goal of the tournament. Joy for the Serbians. Took a bit of a deflection, I think, on the way through. But it crept into the far corner of the net. Despite the efforts of uh, Makagon to block it. Goalkeeper Atantayev is beaten. And Nikola Kubrilovic, yes, it did hit uh, Makagon on the way through. I'm not sure the goalkeeper would have saved it anyway. It's Kazakhstan nil, Serbia three now. There are the two main men. They've shared the goals so far. And they're edging towards a, a famous win. Makagon strikes it. That's going to be a corner via a Serbian deflection. Kviatovski is the taker. And they need something soon. Uh, Kazakhstan, or they're going to finish bottom of the group. Header is across the face. Here's Kubrilovic again with an acrobatic effort. It's chested behind by uh, Tulpa, which has gifted Serbia an unexpected corner. An opportunity maybe to stretch the lead. It's taken by Vukasevic. Well, they're very much in control, the Serbians, and deservedly so. The scoreboard doesn't lie. They're uh, comfortably deserving of being three goals to the good. Low drive by the keeper towards Kviatovski. Here's Vasiliev. And just to keep his feet. He'll just chip forward towards uh, Tulpa. Much option on at the moment for him. He's being well marshaled by uh, Filimonovic, who tends to come on for the uh, second period, the defender. Decent ball in towards uh, Vukasevic, who applauds it, but couldn't quite control it. Clever idea by the number seven, who's a lively little character for Serbia. That's the story of uh, Fiatowski's tournament, really ability to uh, find the target. And Telic is still in goal for uh, Serbia as Antic tries to find space for a shot. He's denied by uh, Atantayev. Well, they have been robbed of their first choice goalkeeper. Well, I say robbed. He's uh, stupidly got himself suspended. Which doesn't help the cause at all for Kazakhstan. Respect to officials is uh, quite rightly punished hard in this uh, form of the game where sportsmanship and uh, friendship is a big, big part. There's a header across the goal by Valentic. And still, Serbia look the more likely scorers as uh, Kazakhstan lack ideas, lack the means to break through at the other end. Serbia have conceded a hatful of goals generally in international beach soccer. Conceded 23 in Belgrade in their three matches in the Euro Beach Soccer Cup, including 11 against Spain, and they've conceded another 12 here in the first two. But so far, it's a clean sheet for uh, Mihailo Bantelic. Shot is 
well blocked by uh, Valentich. It was hit by Perevyotov. Jovanovic, uh, rather, Bukishevich with the flick. Here's uh, Chernyshov, who has uh, managed to get goals, unlike most of his teammates in this competition. Skipper's overhead kick is uh, blocked. Kudai Deljanov unable to find a way through. He'll take the throw. Easy for the keeper. Header was directed towards uh, one Jovanovic by another, but it didn't get there. Here's Perevyortov. It's about as close as uh, Kazakhstan have come. Decent hit. Goalkeeper knew it was going wide. It's nice by Kabrulovic, but it's not worked out for him. It's come out to Perevyortov. Misplaced pass. Here's uh, Valentic for Serbia. One of the players who's uh, yet to find the net in international beach soccer very close to the finding it there if truth be told here's uh, Chernyshov Perevyortov it's again a disappointing finish by him it's unlucky good skill by uh, Mihailo Yapanovic on the far side here's Chernyshov for Kazakhstan Target effort comes in from Radionov. It's been a very ragged display indeed by Kazakhstan. Made a good fist of their opening game against uh, Moldova. 2 0 up and then 3 2 up before losing 4 3. Not been very good since. 7-2, they went down against Estonia and losing here and comfortably so. They're not looking like getting back into the game at the moment. Here's Radionov. Pressure on the keeper from Vukishevich. That's another real feature of his game. Good interception. Vukishevich hoping it'll bounce in his direction. It doesn't. Big long throw, and they've got their goal at last. Stanislav Vasiliev heading into the net. Kazakhstan get a goal back. Route one, goalkeeper's long throw, cushioned header. Nicely guided into the net, not well defended uh, by Serbia, but a goal that Kazakhstan will gratefully receive. Vasiliev gets his first goal of the Euro Beach Soccer League season, and it's 3-1 now to Serbia, who have a habit of not finishing games strongly. So the Kazakhstan players may have made a note of that as Vukishevich fires wide. Just ran out of steam against Moldova, couldn't take their chances to uh, close the game out and ended up losing late on. They do tend to have one poor period in every match. Well, they still lead by three goals to one with uh, four and a half minutes left. And there's a good effort by Kubrilovic, which is clung on to by Atantayev. Here's Tulpa. Can't control it. Quickly forward to Vukishevic. Here's uh, Mihailovic. It was parried up towards Kubrilovic, but he couldn't find the net. It's gone into the side. Decent attempt. This was the uh, overhead saved, and then he put it into the side netting from the rebound. Here's Vukashevic. He's lost out to Tiulpa. Tiulpa will try and hook it in. And uh, at the near post was gone, but he couldn't make any kind of contact, and it's a throw to the Serbians. 
Just uh, two goals in uh, each period so far. kindly for uh, Kazakhstan. Serbia won't want to concede another here. And uh, Stanislav Makagon's misguided effort makes sure that they don't. He scored yesterday against Estonia, one of the two goals that uh, Kazakhstan managed. And then Kubilovic has put it all the way back behind his goal line for a Kazakhstan corner. Cross goes Makagon to take. Did well at the uh, near post by uh, Filimonovic. Been better this though from the Kazakhstan side, and now here's a real chance for uh, Vukashevich. Well tackled by uh, Kviantovsky, whose subsequent shot is clung onto by uh, Pantelic. Vukashevich trying to get goal side. He's gone over. There's no foul. Next goal could be crucial, especially if it comes from Kazakhstan. They've still got a little under two minutes to try and find it. Good clearing header. They've been much better in this second period than they were in the first. Still a lot to do for them, though. This is uh, Chernyshov. Trying to find a route to goal. And the thumping drive by uh, Kwiatowski was blocked. Serbia need to ride this out. Oof, goodness me, they were unlucky then. Makagon with the header onto the crossbar. And uh, for the first time in the match, the Serbians look under a little bit of pressure. Chernyshov couldn't find uh, space to shoot initially, and suddenly uh, they've decided they need their first choice goalkeeper in between the sticks, Marko Milivojevic, who became a father for the first time during the Euro Beach Soccer Cup in his native Belgrade chance, goal. That's exactly what Serbia wanted. And Filip Antic has got his first international goal, the 21-year-old, simple tap in. And that is a huge relief for the Serbians who were becoming a little under the cosh. Saw their lead cut to 3-1, but that's an important goal by Antic on the counter attack. And it's 4-1 to the Serbians. Found himself free, got away from Makagon. Guided it beautifully with his right foot. And with less than a minute remaining of the second period, Serbia have restored their three goal advantage and Kazakhstan have to do it all over again. Piatowski's shot is blocked. Here he is again. Oof, that was really good effort. And off the crossbar it came. They're unfortunate there because Kwiatowski on that occasion absolutely middled it. And the crossbar denied him a goal for Kazakhstan. Teach climbing. It's going to be a free kick to uh, Kazakhstan. And Teach just leaning into Radionov as they both went for the high ball. Kwiatowski. He's lining it up, and my goodness me, he can hit them, as we saw a moment ago when he hit the crossbar. So, can Kwiatowski reduce Serbia's lead to two goals just before the end of the second period? Giant of a man, and his left foot is very, very potent. Here we go. Good save. That's why they brought Milivojevic on. He's an excellent, agile keeper. Not the most tactically astute and not the best with the ball at his feet, but excellent as a shot stopper, as you saw there. Header was wide from uh, Perevyortov. Nicely done, but uh, doesn't find its way through. No 
That is the end of the second period in Serbia. 4-1 uh, up. Goals by uh, Nikola Kobrilovic and Filip Antic. Sandwiched by an effort from Stanislav Vasiliev. Mean that Serbia are 12 minutes away from their first ever win in international beach soccer. At the end of the second period, it's Kazakhstan 1, Serbia 4. So the third and final period to determine which of these two teams will finish in the third spot in uh, Division B Group 1 and get their first points on the board of the tournament. Serbia will be huge favourites with that 4-1 lead. They can't add to it from the restart with Mladen Jovanovic's shot going too high. Kazakhstan had a little period where they threatened and they've got back into it now. That was a fabulous strike, just what they needed from Dmitry Perevyotov. Tremendous hit. And that takes them back to 4-2. Splendid drive. And uh, Milivojevic, good though he is, couldn't get across and do anything about that. It was a terrific hit, and it's come very early in the final period now. Serbia couldn't finish off the job against uh, Moldova yesterday. They'll be looking to do so here. It would be heartbreaking for them were they to lose again. Here's uh, Vukishevic, and it's just about clawed away. Good save by Atantaya from a difficult rising ball. Vukishevic himself will take the corner, drives it in. Goalkeeper fists it away. Rilovic loses out to Kuda Dejerov. Kazakhstan seem to have a little bit of a spring in their step. It's brought forward again by the scorer of the second goal, Dmitry Perevyotov, his first of the tournament. Will it be enough, though? The sun's just disappeared behind a cloud. Serbia will be hoping... Uh, the clouds don't gather too much for them. Goalkeeper gets there to deny Kubrilovic. Kazakhstan still have much work to do. Here's Perevyotov back to his keeper. They go long again, too long this time. No foul against uh, Nikola Kubrilovic, who claims he was pushed, nothing given. Or maybe, well, it's going to be a yellow card for him for a, a dive. Deciding that he'd thrown himself to the ground too easily, which means that Kazakhstan will have the opportunity from the free kick to get themselves within a goal. It's going to be their top scorer, Viktor Chernyshov, who... Uh, Shoots for goal. He's got three already in the competition. Hasn't managed one today. Scored in the both of the previous two games. Two against Moldova and then another against Estonia. He's another one who can hit them very well. But uh, Milivojevic is an excellent shot stopper in the Serbian goal. Finally, the uh, referee will blow his whistle to give Kazakhstan the opportunity to cut Serbia's lead to 4-3. It's wide, but the goalkeeper's patted it away. Probably didn't need to. It's a corner. They haven't been very well taken so far by Murat Kudajdejinov. Needs a better one here.
chance of vying for position in front of that goal. And the referee just needs to sort a few things out before the corner can be taken. She's having a word with uh, Jovanovic and uh, Pereviortov. Here comes the corner. Header at the back post. And then a header into the net by Pereviortov. Is the Kazakhstan comeback well and truly on now? Pereviotov gets his second goal of the game. The corner was taken much better this time. An astute header back by Chernyshov and a simple nod into the net by Dmitry Pereviotov. He's now scored two goals inside the opening two minutes of the final period. And suddenly, Serbia's 4 1 lead has become 4 3. Well, they lost it late on against Moldova yesterday. They're looking for their first ever win in a beach soccer international. They're going to have to do it the hard way. Still leading, but only by one now. They need Vukashevic to step up. It wasn't a very good tee up for him. And then a shot by uh, Valentic, which doesn't get there. Decent effort by uh, Kwiatowski, held by. Milivojevic. Flick back to his goalkeeper by Makagon. It's going to be a very nervous. Oh dear. Vukashevic has gone flying in there. It's going to be a yellow car for the Serbian top scorer. And he's uh, conceded a free kick in a not hugely dangerous but reasonable position just to the left of center close to halfway backing goal is Mihailo Pantelic for uh, Serbia which surprises me a little bit Milivojevic is such a good shot stopper from these sort of free kicks that it's very difficult to score against him but if um, Stanislav Makagon can score here it'll be four apiece and the Kazakh comeback will be complete Makagon a scorer yesterday against Estonia looks to do the trick again. He's gone wide. Still plenty of time for uh, Kazakhstan to complete their comeback though. Pantelic in towards uh, Antic whose header goes a long way wide. Here's uh, Fiatovsky. They've gained great heart from this uh, period of play when they've got a couple of goals back quickly, Kazakhstan. Here's uh, Vukashevich. Can't quite pick out his young teammate Antic. Serbia need to get the ball to Vukashevich whenever they can. Not just for his goal scoring, but his hold up play and his general ability to dictate the tempo of things is invaluable but here's another corner for uh, Kazakhstan they scored from the last one Serbia's defending will need to be better we need to look out for uh, Chernyshov nodding it back across goal they've dealt with it this time Fukashevich forward to Jovanovic who can't find uh, Antic stays finely poised in this opening game of six on the final day in Moscow close to the Yanta beach here's Tiulpa overhead kick by him is a long way off target which will be very pleasing to the Serbians who will be able to just regroup here Here's Kubrilovic. Oh, my goodness me. And Vukashevic, who's been such a source of goals, has somehow missed one from a yard out. I'm not quite sure how on earth he didn't put that into the net from Kubrilovic's pass. It was a glorious opportunity for Serbia to get a goal, which might have gone a long way to 
sorting out the match in their favor instead there's an opportunity and it's clung onto on the line by Pantelic quickly out to Valentic well both sides very close to scoring at either end in quick succession Vukisevic not able to prod in for Serbia and then his goalkeeper Pantelic rescuing the side at the other end seven minutes left in the final period of three Kazakhstan three Serbia four is the score and they have a corner Kwiatowski will take it there's the header it's wide from Shernisov who's furious with himself for not hitting the target at least another chance survived by uh, Serbia here's Chernishov again finding Kwiatowski is beaten in the air but it's harmless from Serbia's point of view as the ball comes back in here's Antic back to Pantelic chance goal just what Serbia needed again Mihailo Jovanovic this time and that is 5-3 and that could be a very significant strike by Jovanovic his second of the tournament and it was nicely tucked away. It broke kindly for uh, Serbia. And they're closing in on victory, and he knows it. Little message to uh, the folks back home. We're nearly there. Goalkeeper clipped it forward. Did well to get it past his man. It was a good finish in the end. Just steered it into a goal-scoring position and then found the back of the net from close range. Kazakhstan three, Serbia five. Kazakhstan need two goals in just under six minutes to get themselves back on terms well there's one of them Chernyshev has got his uh, customary goal it's his fourth of the competition and suddenly 5-3 in a flash becomes 5-4 with a quite brilliant strike by the best Kazakhstan goal scorer he goes on to four, having scored two in the opener against Moldova and uh, another yesterday against Estonia, but it won't count for anything if it doesn't result in a win. Well, Serbia only led for mere seconds as uh, Kubrilovic puts the ball hopelessly wide. There is still time for plenty more goals in this one. It's a fast-moving sport in which goals can come from nowhere and they can come thick and fast. Yesterday we saw nine in one 12 minute period with uh, Switzerland playing Poland. Serbia forced to sweat again. Kuprilovic with the shot. Follow up is wide by Antic. It's well defended by uh, Jovanovic. It's gone down, nothing's given, real chance, and it's wasted. Chernyshov is furious that uh, Berev Yotov went for goal instead of squaring it there because he was completely unmarked at the back post. Berev Yotov, who scored two already, chose to shoot, but it wasn't the right option. And, uh, an injury stops the clock with a shade over five minutes to go. It's going to be a real battle this for the remainder of this third and final period can Serbia cling on or can Kazakhstan break their hearts like Moldova did yesterday
ball is back in play. Long by Pantelic, Antic can't get a touch, nor can Kabrilovic. Kazakhstan will be full of belief, but it's well defended by Jovanovic. Here's Atantaev. Again, he's gone long. This is Chernyshov, the most dangerous player in a blue shirt. Tempted uh, effort by Radionov is blocked, and suddenly Antic is coming away at the other end. Tries to go all the way. Stumbles in the end, and it goes behind. Used up a useful few seconds for the Serbians. Again, the goalkeeper goes long. Good defending header by uh, Valentic. Good defending by the number six. That is his main job in the side. Just to tidy up at the back when needed. And he did well there. And uh, the clock is ticking down against Kazakhstan. And the game might have gone completely against them now with another brilliant goal by that man, Nemanja Vukashevich. Superb again by a player whose uh, vast experience of all forms of the game of soccer have been brought to bear. What a goal this was, though. The chest down was magnificent. The volley even better. And that might just seal it in favour of Serbia because they lead by six goals to four with less than four minutes remaining. However, Kazakhstan did score directly from the restart the last time Serbia found the net. They don't this time. Vukashevic has now got a hat-trick for the second game running and is the outright tournament top scorer now with six goals ahead of Dejan Stankovic and Glenn Hodel of Switzerland. It's been a superb individual achievement by him. He's scored nine goals in six international beach soccer matches. And Serbia are very close now to their first ever win in this uh, beach soccer discipline, having only started as a participating nation a mere matter of six weeks ago. It's been a brilliant effort by them there. Still needing to concentrate as uh, Kazakhstan looked to get back, but it looks like Serbia will finish third of the four teams in Division B Group 1. It's Estonia Moldova next to decide the top places. Oh, but uh, the ball's been lost. And then miscontrolled by uh, Vitali Tjulpa. And uh, Serbia have a throw. Long by Pantelic. Not a particularly good header by uh, Kudaidejinov, but uh, Vukshevic has fouled him. And with uh, just over two minutes left, Kazakhstan, who need two goals to take us into extra time, have a free kick, albeit one in a pretty tough position to score from. It's the captain, Murat Kudaidejinov, who celebrates his 30th birthday the day after tomorrow. This could be an early gift for him if he can unwrap it. He's actually gone back to his keeper, which is probably a sensible idea. Here's a Tiolpa that's harmless, though, for uh, Pantelic. Here's uh, Antic back to his goalkeeper again. They just need to manage the last couple of minutes, Serbia, and they'll be home and dry. Good header in field by uh, Vukashevic doesn't find Antic though. Goalkeeper comes a long way. And a chance potentially here, but a great tackle. And suddenly there's a break on. It's Antic. He wants to shoot. And he shoots straight at the keeper. Ball into the box dangerously, but uh, well defended under pressure by uh, Valentic, who's played well today. 
Here's Jovanovic. This could finish it. Oh, and Vukashevic uh, uncustomarily has put it wide. His uh, shots to goals ratio is normally very high, but he's missed a couple today. But they're running out of time, Kazakhstan. They need two goals in the time that remains. And uh, they finally found one. So there may be time yet. It's Sergei Kwiatowski, not via his left foot, but via his head. And that makes it 6-5 to Serbia. And there's still a minute on the clock. It's going to be very tense. Kwiatowski's got his first goal of the tournament. Serbia can ill afford to concede another. Or we will have extra time and then possibly penalty kicks. We haven't had a single extra time period yet in this Euro Beach Soccer League 2016. Good strike. And it was blocked on the line crucially by Kwiatowski. Hit well by uh, Mladen Jovanovic. Here's the throw. It's gone deep. There's the header from uh, Valentic. The long throw out. There's the nod on from Chernyshov, but it comes to nothing with Kwiatowski unable to get to it. The referees have uh, stopped the clock. 42 seconds left. Here's Kubrilovic. That's the margin between. Uh, Serbia and victory here. Kabrilovic trying to try to shield the ball and use up some vital seconds. Gets it back to Valentic, who knocks it up towards Vukashevic. Out it goes. Is there time for Kazakhstan to get an equaliser? No, it's hit the bar. Well, dramatic finale. They thought they'd scored. It didn't cross the line. It was Chernyshov whose header rattled the bar, and that might just be the bit of luck that Serbia need right at the end. That is it. Serbia celebrate an historic victory. They've won a beach soccer international for the first time ever in a pulsating match, which uh, they weren't sure of victory till right at the end. Their hero again was uh, Nemanja Vukashevic, who got a hat trick. But then uh, this effort against the crossbar, and as you can see, clearly not over the line at the end, almost denied them. But they finished third in the group after a close fought victory. They've beaten Kazakhstan by six goals to five.